Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on Snowflake and SQL DVM, code convert, naming convention and life sharing feature. How this can change our life when we are using the SQL DBM data modeling tool with Snowflake. If you have not gone through my recent blog on Snowflake and SQL DBM codeless data modeling tool, then I would suggest you to please have a look. You can also find the blog link in the video description. Let's start with the demo. So uh, as you can see that I am connected to my uh, SQL DBM uh, web UI. So today, first of all, I would like to show you the naming convention feature. So basically when you say naming convention, it's basically to standardize your uh, uh, extract uh, DDL or in the data model. Like it's in most of the cases, uh, data modeling is the teamwork, right? So it's not uh, one person. So multiple person has their multiple style of doing the data modeling. Somebody might use small cases, somebody might use uh, upper cases. So there can be a multiple variety of ER diagram naming convention you can see like uh, on the case part first first is a case part right. So somebody can create in the camel case, somebody can create in upper case, somebody can use different cases right. So if your ER diagrams are in the mixed case it looks very bad right and it's also a tedious job like if it's a long aged uh, data model like it's you lots your guys are working from a long time right and if you have created lots of ER diagram it's a pain to go and change manually and standardize on a particular uh, case as per your organization need right and it's also even tedious to like uh, verify or keep on informing everybody based on the standardization that these are our, our company standard and you need to follow that it's totally difficult to make everybody on sync on that right so this is one of the feature which i find it very handy when it comes to uh, uh, like uh, change in a click and apply at once so say if i already had an existing uh, uh, er diagram right so suppose i already had this er diagram you can see on my screen right and you can see that everything is in small case right or i can even go and let's say if i do this as a uppercase this in name as an uppercase right so you can see that how messy a data model can look when you modify the things say if i do this as a name right if i click here and i will leave it like you can see that s is on school is on camel case name is on upper uppercase and there can be different varieties of the thing you can see based on the person to person but changing one by one everything is a pain so what i can do i can just go in sql dvm say naming convention and i can say everything in a title case and you can see that now it converted into title case and if i say apply to existing object sometime it takes some time i think i need to okay i need to save first let me refresh once and then we'll go ahead and change oh it was done already i think it was not uh, it was my fault i didn't saw that but you can see that now it can it changed based on the title case right the same thing can be done if you want to do different kind of con uh, setting like uh, let me give you an example on uh, all right Let's go on naming convention and click on suffix and prefix. Say if I want to say that all the table in my application should start with SOM, right? So they, that's maybe like it can be SOM, it can be anything, right? It's, it's just that you want all the app, uh, tables name start with SOM. Likewise, you want that all the columns should start with call, right? And if I say this, even if somebody has uh, not written this like if they have written like this is some new standard which I want to apply and it was not previously there so it is not it doesn't exist right so once I click on apply to existing object and uh, save the setting it will apply for the all the existing object and convert the name of all the table and starting with SOM underscore and column name with call underscore 
let's see how I click on apply I click on save setting so now you can see that SOM employee SOM department SOM school and all the columns start with call 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 underscore right so this is one of the cool feature uh, like uh, I, I find it very handy when I have to apply on a large number of things and uh, it may be fe feel like it's a very simple one but uh, when it comes to mass changing it's a game changer I find it very uh, helpful so yeah thumbs up from my side and one another feature I found it like uh, say like if I want to change the name of one object to uh, another like say if I want to convert the object name school to school one let's see if it's going to work so uh, i think we have converted the name of the school from som school right so let me copy this and let me go to here and see whether it's working what i understand is like this should be som school underscore one let's see if it applied and save setting let me refresh i don't know whether it's going to work for me or not no it didn't work maybe i have mistaken understood that applicable i call physical name only now i think this feature is for something else i need to uh, recheck on this I thought it will replace the name with the matching but I think it's not working but that's fine so we will explore that feature uh, later on but one another important feature which I wanted to showcase was convert project to so basically say currently my code is on snowflake right it can be on anything else but in most of the migration project like uh, say if I am currently in my SQL or I am in uh, like uh, SQL server and I want to migrate to snowflake right the first thing came into our mind how the table detail will change right so i, I can understand there is no tool in the market who can convert 100 percent uh from uh, like any any uh, source to target but the tool uh, there are tools in the market like this is one convert project to is one of the tool which can help you to at least convert 60 to 70 percent of the code uh, perfectly this 30 percent can be done based on your analysis so basically if it's the nc standard this tool will help you to convert everything uh, correctly but if it's something related to propriety to that tool might be that or if that something one to one uh, mapping is not applicable in uh, like say if I, I have any feature specific to oracle right say a row id right there is nothing called row id in uh, snowflake right in that case uh, it may fail or it may suggest something which is not correct because that doesn't exist in oracle but this is just an example right so this kind of thing can happen but it help you to convert around 60 to 70 percent that's what i have seen so uh, as of now my current database is in snowflake i'm going to click here all right i need to save this first click here convert to project and i want to convert my existing code to SQL server so let me click here and it is running it is going to convert the data model from snowflake to SQL server now you can see that it is converted to SQL server if I go and click here and say generate SQL you will see that the code has been converted to SQL server now you can see that all the index index everything has got created which was not earlier there but because we are going to uh, because we have migrated from snowflake to sql server you can see that the coding style of uh, snowflake uh, sql server is now applicable to the existing data model so it's like go so all these things are there and you can directly push this code to your git repository or you can apply this to any other database sql server and you can get your sql server ready with the same data model too so this is very handy when you want to do a conversion and it will specifically help you if you have a targeted database on the mind that you want to convert your x database to y database 
Then another feature I wanted to showcase you, I think yeah, in my previous video, I was trying to share uh, one of the online sharing feature of SQL DBM, but I was facing issue. The reason for that was that I was not having the capability on my subscription to share, to add the sharing feature. So to add the sharing feature, you should have the uh, like consumer, uh, consumer added to your uh, uh, subscription which now I have earlier it was not there so let me show you which was not there and now it added so if you go here and if you go on account if you go on um, admin console you can see that now I have a feature of adding one of one consumer right earlier it was zero so I was not able to add so let's add a new consumer uh, in front of you so today I'm going to add a new consumer name uh, dummy 780184 at the rate gmail.com so this is the new gmail id uh, dummy gmail id i just created for this demo i will drop this uh, email id after this demo so this is the new email id which i just created i need to add that uh, email id first into the admin console so that i can use the same email id during the sharing so i will just add this it will take a second now it is added and uh, if, you, if I go and connect here, you will see that the new mail has been just came. And if I click here, you can see that you have got the enterprise subscription. Rajiv Gupta has added you under the enterprise subscription plan with consumer and so and so and so. So if I have to access this, I have to uh, click on subscription plan. And now I will able to log in using my Gmail ID. So as I am already connected, you can see that now I am connected with SQL DBM even though I don't have any account on SQL DVM, but I got a subscription shared by Rajiv Gupta. So you can see shared with me is nothing, created by me is nothing and all project is nothing. As of now, because I have not shared anything with uh, this dummy email ID. Now I will go to my dashboard and say if I connect here in overview and I just want to share this ER diagram as a read only to dummy. So now you can see that the email ID just pop up and I just wanted to allow, I doesn't allow, allow, means want to allow the edit on this diagram, but I want that dummy user should connect and see this diagram. So I will just send the email. Hopefully the invitation was sent to dummy user. Now I will go and uh, connect to the dummy user and I will just refresh. I don't know, I don't see any refresh button, but now you can see that the dashboard start popping up that overview uh, project is being shared by Rajiv Gupta right and it's the date of today and just the current time so when I click here you can see that the same window will be open over here but it's more on the you have a read only access to this project I can do all the stuff which I want but it I, I will not able to save because there is no save button over here and you can see it's view only and I can easily like if I want to see anything on the more detailed part like uh, like what is there if they, I want to go and see the documentation for this I can see that if there is anything like you can see employee table employee table like this which I added yesterday so the this is very handy when it comes to like uh, I have created something and I want that somebody from my team a senior folks should review this but I don't want or maybe somebody from the uh, dev team or business team or any other team or the functional team should review this but they should not be allowed to edit. But in case I want to review them and also fix the issue if I have done any mistake, uh, say if I am a junior uh, member of the team and I created something based on the requirement but I am not sure whether it's correct or not, I want my superior to review and fix the issue if I have done any mistake I can give the edit privilege as well right so I can share based on read only or read write both and based on that the certain user can uh, do all the activities so this is one of the uh, very cool feature I, I see uh, in SQL DVM which I don't find in any other uh, data modeling tool at least to my knowledge but uh, these are some of the quite interesting feature which I feel is uh, TRP for SQL DBM. So, so guys, uh, this is all about the scope for today's demo. Hope you like this demo. Thank you and please subscribe to my channel.